When it comes to Israel and China, these are strange bedfellows. In sheer size and geopolitical orientation, these two states appear vastly different. China has 10 cities larger than Israel's entire population. China is the new land of opportunities. When we grew up, it was Israel was looking at uh, the US, maybe Europe. Today it's China. For Israeli companies who want to go global, China is becoming a must. Out of this interest comes a growing desire for Israeli goods and services. China is attracted to Israel's blazing technology sector, and Israel welcomes China's investments and potential as a research collaborator. We see more and more cooperation on technology, technology cooperation in different aspects, big companies and small companies. So definitely on all aspects of uh, the economic relation, we see significant growth. Trade between the two countries has surpassed $11 billion a small figure when compared to Chinese trade with the US or Europe, but 200 times larger than it was just 25 years ago, prompting enthusiasm from Israel at the highest level. With the new technology, we can make people live longer, personalize their medicine, prevent a lot of the diseases that are available. All of that is happening um, uh, in exciting ways in Israel, and we're very excited about trying to bring this technology to China Chinese industry has become critical to the future of the Israeli state. Chinese firms building key infrastructure, the Carmel Tunnels in Haifa, the light rail in Tel Aviv, and expanding the Ashdod and Haifa seaports. And Chinese tourism to the Holy Land is booming, with Hainan Airlines operating 10 direct flights to Israel each week. Yet, the relationship faces a rocky road as Israel navigates the choppy waters of the U.S.-China trade war. When Chinese company looks at the U.S. and Europe, they look at potential technology partner, but at the same time as a competitor. When they look at Israel, we have no competition with China. Israel will try to walk this tightrope as the startup nation continues to be snapped up by the land of the Red Dragon. Asher Westrop-Evans, I-24 News.